We're here at the uh, 2020 Hunting Beagle World Championship. This event is a little different than most of our Beagle trials, whereas it's not an open event, it requires dogs to be qualified for it. So they go through a series of qualifying events and they have to win a cast at one of those qualifying events to get here to the World Championship. This is not the uh, biggest event we have because it requires qualifying, but it is one of the most prestigious events we have in this program. The sire is going to be Circle and Copper. The dam is Grand Hunting Beagle Champion Rogan's Daisy. The dog is Hunting Beagle Champion Rogan's Theodore. To win the World Championship is a very prestigious event. It's something that uh, any, any dog owner that competes in competition strives for is a World Championship title. So it means a whole lot to a whole lot of guys. There's a lot of guys that have tried for years and years and years, and uh, to finally win one is, is a big deal. It's a huge deal. You know, it's that world championship. It's like no other. Put your hands together for Mr. Nathan Smith from West Virginia. Thank you. Thank you. This year we had 250 entries, and I will say that this is the record entry for the world championship. Before that, we've had the number was 223. What happens at the World Championship is we have two things. We have a hunt and then we also have a show. So we have uh, the first round starts on Friday. And then in between round one in the middle of the day or early afternoon, we also have our World uh, Championship bench show. Now those dogs, they need to have championship hunt points in order to show at the World Show. Either that or they needed to have entered a qualifying event without getting scratched in order to be qualified to enter the World Show. And we had a great show, we had some nice dogs in it. When I put all those parts together today, the World Show champion is going to be the female. <laughs> this weekend we're in Caldwell, Ohio for the World Championship. For the most part, it's very similar to uh, most of the other areas where they come from. But one of the things here is the hills. You know, we have people here from Indiana. Uh, that are used to everything flat, you know. Here in this area, they have like 60,000 acres of uh, state land, game land that they're hunting on, and those are old coal mines, so uh, the terrain is a little bit different, a lot of tall, um, tall weeds and, and things like that, as opposed to um, in certain other areas, they may get into more briar type thickets. A lot of the guys will run a little bit uh, here locally uh, in the area before the World Championship starts just to acclimate their dogs a little bit. Not everybody does, but a lot of them do. And usually it doesn't take a dog too long to acclimate to a to different terrain or a different, different climate. Conditions do have a, play a big part in the World Championship. If conditions are very tough, it's going to require a dog that doesn't make a whole lot of mistakes. You know, if they produce a rabbit, they need to be able to run it. You know, opening on a, a dog that is maybe too quick to open, or very quick to open, I should say, when they smell scent and cannot produce it, will go backwards in a hurry. When the conditions are rough, like they have been this weekend, scenting conditions have been a little tough. They've had plenty of rabbits here this weekend, but scenting conditions have been tough. So it's going to take a dog that, uh, that can once they produce one, can also handle the track. It really, really plays a big part in it. This year we ended up with 56 dogs that advanced in round two. Those were all cast winners from the first round. And those cast winners came back, and then the next round three is considered the semifinal round. Those dogs run in late afternoon, early evening on Saturday. Those casts are broke down into four different casts. The cast winners of each one of those four groups or casts will move on to Sunday morning's final cast, and the rest of the dogs will place in the top 10. He, we bought him as a puppy. He was about three and a half months old. Um, he's off of uh, Big Meadows Lord Vader and um, Hurry Up Misdemeanor. But this is his first year of trial. Agustin Sir Mongo. I just love these dogs are just so tough. Go through so much. Don't ever give up. I just love to listen to him on the rabbit. Loved it all my life. Hey, just holding your fingers crossed every every time you turn loose and hope for the best. We raised this dog. He comes from a cross that I made twice. It was very successful. Super independent normally. Uh, pretty tight mouth. Pretty fast for as little as it is. So hopefully it works out tomorrow. Where they're going tomorrow, it's pretty thick. So all the dogs will have to endure some hellacious briars. Thank you.
your new 2020 world champion, champion, world hunting beagle champion, champion, grand hunting beagle champion, Dagestine Sir Mongo with 710 plus. The camaraderie has just been through the roof really here and I think guys are just really excited to be able to be here and that we could actually have it. So it's been super great this, this weekend. It's the local club here is the Hilltop Vigo Club. They have done a bang up job for us this weekend. Trevor McQueen, Jeff Duvall, Kurt Driggs, and their whole team have just done a phenomenal job for us here, getting people out uh, into good rabbit habitat where they can have the opportunity to run game. They have, I can't say enough about what those guys have done. And it really takes a lot of that to put on a good event. On behalf of United Kennel Club, I really want to take this opportunity and thank all the participants that qualified their dogs this year. It's been a tough year for everybody, uncertain times, still got their dogs qualified and came, and we really enjoyed having them here. And I want to congratulate all the winners at this year's World Championship. I want to thank our Master of Hounds, Roy Swafford. He always does a phenomenal job conducting the event, and just everybody that came and uh, we hope to see everybody again next year at the 2021 World Championship.